Okay, I've got one final concern, I think. <laughs> and this has to do with sound and waves. I've already touched on this a little bit before because everyone's acting like microwaves, radio, x-rays, invisible light, they're all the same, but they're all different. They're different, but they're the same, but it's all the same. It's just a vibration. So, I have these issues with dogs bothering me. It's not just me going out looking for trouble. People going out of their way to harass me with their dogs. Clearly. I was here. I'm going to benefit the doubt, all this, all that, and the other. They're clearly going out of their way to harass me with their dogs. So then, I finally remember about this thing I heard about on a podcast I like, Security Now. Steve Gibson and Leo Laporte. And on one of these episodes, Steve went into how he had this problem with dogs. His neighbor's dog just kept barking, barking, barking. Tried everything, tried reasoning with the person, tried this, everything, this, that, and the other. But for whatever reason, and this is another thing, a whole other concern I guess I also have with dogs, but I'm just, I'm so tired, I don't want to get into it. Corrupt people, it's crazy. Anyways. Sound. Dog will not piss off, keeps barking at him. And so, he knows about dog whistles. Everyone, everyone's heard about a dog whistle, right? You blow his whistle, it's a high frequency, only the dog can really hear it, and it comes and comes back to you or whatever. And so he thinks, okay, well... If I can just produce that frequency with a speaker and just crank it up real loud, that thing will never bother me again. And so that's what he did. And he built this circuit. And he built this device. He got a high frequency speaker. Just wired it all in. Next time that dog barked, he pointed at it and he barely pressed the button, and this thing jumped so high it almost went over the fence. Oh, it's just a dog trainer. I've seen those before, I've seen it around. That's a whole other story. I got too many stories, too much going on, too much to say. But anyways, I remember that I can get this thing and just an electronic dog whistle. And I'll be able to whistle these things back off. Right? You try to try reasoning with them. They don't want to put them on the leash. They, they everyone's got they won't read the laws. The laws here say in Kings County, where everyone's running for mayor right now because they realize they fucked up, because they want to get this law changed so that they can justify having tortured me. But the law clearly states anywhere in public in Kings County, dogs must be on a leash. Other laws clearly state that all beaches are public property, whether there's access to them or not, 
public property up to the high tide line, and you can own up, you can own up to there. That's it. Whatever, I'm trying to talk about sound. And so, everyone has to be saying everything. No one cares, no one does anything, nothing changes. So I go, I remember this thing, I go online and I order it. Here it is. NPS. This thing is great. You point, you, it's got a safety, you switch it on. It's got a USB-C to charge it. And then the thing comes at you, you point this at it and you hold down the button. And it blasts it for seven seconds. That's, just, that's the maximum amount of time it's safe enough to blast them. Oh, and they keep coming back, so you blast them again. Now, this thing is not a dog whistle. It does not produce a single high frequency that the dog can hear so it knows to come back home. It does not do that. When this thing runs, it vibrates. The entire thing. <laughs> now, some people listen to knows what that means. Some people don't, because everyone has secrets. What that means is this was not broadcasting a safe, high-frequency sound. This was broadcasting microwave. You got a microwave at home, don't you? You know how that works. But it was directional. Amplified. Shaped. Filtered. We know how to do everything. If you ask. If you don't ask. You don't listen. Shit like this happens. Not only that, if you know about this, because you keep secrets, you know by that sound what that means. It was doing the X pattern. Not only that, it was doing a resonance check. Not only that, it was doing a frequency sweep, because that's how that works. So it just wasn't, this just isn't broadcasting a single bad microwave. It finds the one that fucks with you, and it kills you. Right here. Microwaves are sound. Sound is everything. Everything's a wave. It's simple. There's not a separate medium for microwaves, there's not a separate medium for sound, there's not a separate medium for water. It's all the same stuff. Everything. And here it is. I can kill you with this. <laughs> the thing is, you'll survive. You'll survive. You will survive this. For some time. Until your body gives up and you fucking die. But no one wants to tell anyone about this. Why? Because you can do this with any speaker. So, guess what makes the best security system ever speakers because you can microwave the motherfuckers that break in well also mixing in a high annoying sound so they run around and they get a dose everywhere all over them 
and they get boiled. Literally boiled from the inside out. There's someone at my high school that this may have happened to because they broke into the school. The school's got a PA system. A whole other thing, it might have used to be a jail. So why not? There's so much going on. You would not believe. Or maybe I'm just crazy. But there's no reason why a speaker could not produce a microwave that could boil your fucking brain. Unless there's a filter in the way. But there's also high frequency. Microwave, that's how Wi-Fi works, right? So why doesn't Wi-Fi fry your brain? And this is what's so confusing. There's all this concern. The microwaves are bad. It fries your brain. No microwaves, no, no cell phones. But the thing is, high frequency on its own is completely fine. It's just a high frequency wave. The higher, again, there's so much to get into here. I can explain absolutely everything because I know everything. It seems stupid. But because lower frequency means more power, high frequency means less power. So a high frequency wave on its own has less power. I don't know why and everything, but again... It has less power, so it's safe. It just passes on through you, it doesn't resonate with you. It can't. So it's fine. So your cell phones are fine. Your walkie talkie's fine. Your Wi Fi is fine. Everything's fine. You don't have to worry about it a single bit. It's just sound, it's just a dog whistle that you can't hear. That's literally all it is. It's completely safe, it's completely fine. Until you add low frequency at the same time. Because low frequency is energy. It gets you moving. It gets you moving, so then the high frequency, now you've got the momentum, you can add that little extra bit to fry you. Brrr. To boil you. That's how your microwave works. That's why it sounds like. Because it needs a low frequency for the power. That's where all the energy is, is in the low frequency. That's the carrier wave, and the high frequency rides on top of it. I don't know, it's. Conceptually, technically, it's the other way around. But conceptually, you need the high for the as the carrier to have the little one to boil you. Now, this compounds with base. Base is another secret. And the people that are holding this secret, they don't understand it. All they know is that it can boil your brain. So, they keep it to themselves. The people they share it with, they only dose them a little tiny bit because they don't understand. Now they dosed me. With this base. How it works is you have base with ultrasonic on top of it. Now you know ultrasonic. Ultrasonic lets you see your baby when you're pregnant. Completely safe. High frequency. That resonates with our flesh. So that it's able to go in, bounce off the baby, and you can get a photograph of it. Completely safe. Because it's high frequency all on its own. But, if you add it together with base, 
Now it can tickle you. Because the bass gets you going. And then the ultrasonic gets you going that extra little bit so it tickles and so you can feel it. Now, there's a couple different ways of doing this. The speaker can do it entirely on its own. You have the filter set up properly so you can't go too high in the microwave. You only go into ultrasonic. There's other little tricks. You get the carrier wave and this and that. It's resonant. Everything's going to happen at the right time. And the music can tickle you. It's awesome. And it's completely safe. You can, now you can't do it too much, I don't think. Because it's still like exercising your muscles, but it's exercising in a safe way. But there's another way to produce those because they've got them filtered out. They've got filters put in to prevent that, to prevent you playing with bass because they don't understand it. They think it's bass. The bass is the trick, the bass is the key the high frequency is the combination and it's completely safe as long as you don't do it too much just like with any exercise you any exercise too much it becomes unsafe but you do it you can still do it, exercise quite a bit right? I walk every day I take breaks once in a while I don't walk every day for two weeks at a time sometimes I don't take a day off so but I figured out another way to make them you put shit on top of the speaker and you can now get that little frequency to it gets like a piece of plastic or something and now you're in the ultrasonic range and so now you're tickling yourself and I figured out how to do it despite the filters that they've put in place But they won't ask me how I did it. Because everything's a secret. They just know I can do it. Because they're watching me. Because I'm up to shit. I deleted the CD database. So. Then they try to reverse engineer what I do. All they could figure out is to put some something on the speaker. They figured that out. And theirs was popsicle sticks. Cause mine sounded like a woodpecker. And I just want to ask. I couldn't ask them. I tried. So all this stuff, I think they got filters, I think they got blocks in place, but they don't. I can get around anything. We can. We have. And we're gonna. And so this is my whole plan with this 9-11, never again. We're releasing this music to everyone on the planet. All at once. The technique, everyone gets to experience it. And then everyone gets to keep experiencing it until the end of time, and it's never kept as an elite thing. Please share. You have to. It's dangerous not to, no matter what you have, no matter what you think you have, you have to share. Please.